Hello everyone, welcome to a Bug Snacks community guide. Community guides are created by other trophy hunters to fill in the gaps that I leave, typically while I'm working on other content. Or possibly napping, but you'll never know. So it's my pleasure to introduce 8 Bits of Velvet, who has created this guide for all of us. She's an experienced trophy guide writer, Twitch streamer, and a smaller creator here on YouTube with a passion for indie games. So go check her content out. Buddy. Nice to see ya. Oh, not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's, um, a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. So, uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you want to go exploring with me? Oh, you're too kind. The first place of note is in Flavor Falls. Meet me there whenever's good for you. Alrighty, what we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Let's look around. There would be the work of the ancient stone rumps, a civilization from over 5,000 years ago. All that's left of them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, the writer thinks they would sacrifice them to the bug snacks, like an offering to the gods and whatnot. This means bug snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. Take care. <gasps> Isn't that nifty? Oh, wow, that's a good one. You might have noticed pinkle statues scattered around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. Well... I was hoping to find a camp of some sort, maybe a corpse or two. But oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. Let's head back to Snacksburg for now.
heads up. Nice to see ya. Yep. According to the journal, this time we're heading for the boiling bay. All righty, see you there. Lovely place, isn't it? And check out that real interesting shipwreck. If you don't mind, keep your eyes peeled for a treasure chest and a freezing cold bully of a bug snack. That settles it. This ship belonged to Grumpbeard. He disappeared at sea a hundred years ago, but I guess he wound up on Snack Tooth Island. Hard to tell what happened to him after that. His bones could be just about anywhere. It really is the saddest thing, isn't it? When nobody knows how your story ends. Bye bye now. You know, Floofty's got a theory that the bigger a bug snack is, the older it must be. No telling yet how old, but imagine that snack was around in Grumpbeard's time. It could have even chased him off the beach. Fun to think about, eh? I can't find anything. She's not here either. I didn't mean to keep it from you, but that journal, it, um, it belonged to my... <laughs> See, some years ago, my grandma, Veronica Ladeblog, decided she was gonna explore Snack Tooth Island and discover its history. But we never heard from her again. That's really why I'm out here, to find out what became of her. Anywho, that's all for now. Let's head back to town.
Hey. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh, hi there. I suppose so. There's only one more place mentioned in Grandma's journal. We've got a head for the Frosted Peak. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost caught up to Grandma Lotta blog. Grandma writes about the view from the top. Means we ought to start climbing, don't you think? This is it, all right. This camp had to be one of Grandma's. And I'm thinking that could be her right there. It'd be a fitting way to go, staring out over the land she loved exploring. And what's this snack? Maybe a last meal or... Wait. Even when I was a kid, Grandma didn't have too many teeth. This can't be her, unless... Ooh. Unless I'm remembering wrong, or she got spares? It's been so long, I suppose I can't say. If I want to be dead sure, I need an expert. Sorry to say, Professor Lotterblog, but you and this charming specimen are not related. Oh, well, that's all right then. Thanks for the help. May I keep it? <laughs> 
I could use a few more skeletons in my closet. <laughs> Go ahead. It doesn't really matter now anyway. <laughs> I'm not doing too good. I'll never know what happened to my grandma. The end of Bronica Lotta blog is a big blank spot in history. There's nothing left of her here. Just like everybody else who came to this island, a place where you go to be forgotten. A place where I'll be forgotten. But you know, maybe at least the buck snacks will remember me. Nice night.